Hey, Jack. Couldn't handle a three to one loss to your to the first time you've been back in Buffalo. Yeah, it took a took us seven years, you know, to get back, you know, to get into the game. Seven years and you leaving. Well, guess what? The only thing you've proven, pal, is that you're a sore loser. So pucker up and kiss it right here. <laughs> Woo! Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Durick here with another with another Sabres fan reaction video. And this one is probably the most best one I've got. I probably have had. I'm gonna be having on my channel here. Um, excuse me if I'm stumbling over my words because I'm still hyped up after this game. Sabers win three to one over the Vegas Golden Knights over the Jack Eichel Vegas Golden Knights. Yes, Jack Eichel made his return to Buffalo, and I figured you know. There's going to be at least a decent-sized crowd, and there's going to be probably different reactions to him coming back. And me and my girlfriend, we were at this game, and I got, you know, I'm sitting up in Section 320, and I believe, you know, sitting at that game, I believe there was four different types of fan, you know, of fans there. One was Sabres fans. Two was Vegas fans. Three was fans there for Pride, you know, because it was it was Pride Night there, and four Jack Eichel fans. So whether Jack Eichel Saber fans or Jack Eichel Golden Knights fans, either way, when Jack Eichel as soon as he jumped on that ice, boo! Anytime he touched the puck, anytime he get in the faceoff circle, he was getting booed relentlessly, and I'll. I'm gonna make another video about his post game reaction about his post game comments because that's a totally different story. But to get through this game, to start out the game, Buffalo gets a power play early in the game in the first period, and Buffalo played spectacular in the first period. They showed that they were here to play, and Peyton Krebs gets a tip, and it's a little bit of a fluky goal, but hey, who cares? Peyton Krebs. Strikes first for Buffalo, and it was kind of so, man, how do you say, like, felt so, it felt so good to see one of the guys that we got in acquisition from the Jack Eichel trade score his fourth goal of the year. Buffalo's up one nothing. That's how the first period ends. Second period, nothing really happened except, you know, the referees constantly helping out the Vegas Golden Knights, giving Buffalo one shitty penalty after shitty penalty, you know. So it makes me wonder, you know, are the Vegas Golden Knights the New England Patriots of the NHL? Not the fact that they got Jack Eichel, and Jack Eichel is now the most seems to be the most hated guy in Buffalo. By the way, you know, like I said, I'll get to his reactions later. Then third period comes, it's still one nothing. it's back and forth. Vegas, you know, outplayed us in the second period. So kudos to Craig Anderson for standing on his head throughout this game. But then Ben Hutton gets a very fluky goal and ties the game at one. You know, and I was like, oh man, is this where, is this is where, you know, Vegas turns it up. But then we get a power play opportunity. And... Let me go back to earlier in the game when Victor Olsson had an opportunity at the net, wide open net, and he shoots it wide. And my reaction is, no, please. Can we please trade this guy? And, of course, everybody's staring at me. You know, and it felt a little bit out of sorts there. <laughs> but, you know, I was reacting to this game the whole entire night from the sloppy penalty calls to the opportunities we had and missed out on them. And there was a couple of times where Casey Milstadt actually had some bad passes, and I was like, no, nice pass there, Casey. And people were like, that wasn't a good pass. I know. I was being sarcastic. What's that? Okay, moving on. But, um, so power play opportunity for the Sabres. And... Victor Olsen gets a nice pass from Kyle Oposo, rips it, cranks it up the pipe, bar down, in the net, 2-1 to one Buffalo, Victor Olsen with his 10th of the year. We got a 2-1 lead, 
There's still time in the third. Vegas can still tie it. Getting the later in the third period, the Vegas pulls their goalie. And, it, of course, you know, Vegas was in our zone. We had a couple of opportunities that just would curve away from the net. So it was kind of bum. We were kind of bummed out. And I was like, oh, man, it's going to go Vegas' way. And then on a faceoff over to, you know, from Craig Anderson's point of view, off to his left, Vegas wins the draw. They get it to Jack Eichel on the point, And right before he can make a play, Tuck picks him off. He skates towards it. He tries to get after the puck. And then a bad angle just gets it in. Alex Tuck gets it. And not only that, but he picked off Jack Eichel. Can you believe it? <laughs> and it was just so gratifying. For not only Peyton Krebs scoring, but Alex Tuck scoring. And pretty much we held Jack Eichel to nothing at the throughout that game. He made some key plays. You could tell that he was desperately trying to win that game and did whatever he could. But we came out on top. We came out on top in this one. And, you know, I'm going to give my thoughts and my own personal opinions on what I think about Jack Eichel and especially the comments that he made after the game. But his comment was, oh, yeah, took seven years. You know, seven years of me leaving for that for the crowd to finally get into the game. And he also made the comment, and I don't, and I'm not sure if I'm accurate on this, but the tribute video, he said he really didn't watch it. You know, I'll go back and look at it later. You know, and that was from the Children's Hospital. So, yeah. Nice talk there, Jack. Asshole. I don't care if you know, people nargue at me for cussing, but... Anyways, guys. Fun-filled night. Memorable game. That I'd have to put that up along with... Uh, almost with the Toronto game. We got the Heritage Classic coming up. The outdoor game. Should be a lot of fun. And I'm hoping that Buffalo can definitely, you know, either play a good game. It'd be nice to get a win. But we're 0 for 2 in outdoor games. But, yeah, this is, it was the Winter Classics. This is the Heritage Classic. I don't know if it would make a difference. But game is in Hamilton, which is, like, right at midpoint between Buffalo and Toronto. And it's the Tim Horton Heritage Classic. And everybody knows the late, great Tim Horton played for both Buffalo and Toronto. He had that accident, you know, so, you know, years and years ago. But he's remembered by both Toronto and Buffalo fans. And who doesn't love a good cup of coffee from Tim Hortons? <laughs> Had to throw that little plug in there. But um, anyways, guys, to give a shout out to Melody Martin, who made her first video, made her first video back, you know, after... The last video she made was the trade of Jack Eichel when he went to Vegas. And she was actually at the game. She was actually sitting in section, I believe it was 306, because she was sitting in the section di directly across from the section I was in, because I was in section 320. Um, but to basically say it, um, Melody, if you watch this video, um, i like to say big fan of yours. Um, hopefully one day I get to meet you in person and I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but I'd like to get a picture with you, you know, cause I'm a big fan of yours, you know, and much respect and appreciation for all the videos and all the things that you do on YouTube and Buffalo fans. I encourage you to speak your mind and, you know, just show your feelings and emotions about how you felt about this game. Because I enjoyed it, and it was gratifying, and it was so uplifting just to see us play well as a team, overcome Jack Eichel, and pretty much his comments, you just proved you're nothing but a sore loser, pal. We're going up. We're moving forward without you, but just to be respectful, I hope you find that success you're looking for. And... Maybe this year, maybe not. This league is unpredictable. And th this game kind of proved it. 
but hats off to also Craig Anderson for his 300th win. That was a biggie to get you for his 300th win. You know, stopping 30 of 31. Big game for you, man. My hat, my hat off to you. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Click like if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Let all your friends know. Let your family know. I'm Chris Durek. I'm a fan of the Buffalo Sabres. And I got more videos to make. And hopefully, maybe some on Jersey, uh, Jersey unboxings to do. But you guys take care. Enjoy yourselves. And have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the Heritage Classic. Let's hope we can get another W over Toronto. And stick it to Steve Dangle again. <laughs> By the way, did I forget to mention that back in March 10th of 2002, Dominic Hasek made his big return with the, the Detroit Red Wings against the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. And we chased him right out of the net. Now, 20 years later to the day, Jack Eichel makes it, made his return. And we beat the Vegas Golden Knights 3-1 to with Jack Eichel in the lineup. Yeah, it's funny how karma just works in favor for the savers. Oh, it just works miracles.